Hi guys, Jeff Gamble, Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm really excited that I've been able to partnership with Robert and Susan Heider. Um, they've actually been friends for years, uh, knew them from another company, always stayed in contact with them, and I shared with them what I'm doing, and they're like, yes, this absolutely makes sense uh, and helps a lot of people and kind of fits into what we do, um, which brings me to... Uh, this video and we need a huge favor from you. We just actually want you to know what we're doing So if you run across the right person you have the ability to refer them to us um, And the subject matter that we're going to talk about is actually credit repair um, Unfortunately, my story is is I made about every mistake you can make coming uh, with credit and finances um, starting at 19 uh, I got married while I was in college and within six months of being married and being in college I decided I wanted to start my own business and I was going to quit school. And I went home and I told my mom, who's a school teacher, and my dad, who's a college professor, that I was going to quit school and go self-employed. And you can imagine how well that conversation went. Uh, it was not good. They were pissed. Um, but unfortunately, it got worse. Um, exactly what they were scared of happened. Um, six months later, I ended up um, going to the doctor and the doctor sent me to another doctor who sent me to a specialist and the specialist came back and said hey you have cancer unfortunately I had no insurance at this point so here I am in the hospital two surgeries six months of chemotherapy an entire year of my life um, basically in the medical system I came out on the other side I was alive but I also owed everything um, we're talking about a quarter of a million dollars in debt and I decided I didn't want to throw in the towel. I didn't want to file bankruptcy. I was going to fight my way out. And I was looking for the way to make the most money. And the way to make the most money back then, um, this was 20 years ago, um, was going into real estate. So I'm like, look, this is my way out. I'll go into real estate. So I started um, purchasing homes. I, I looked at a program online called, or not online, actually on late night TV, Charlton Sheets, No Money Down. I'm sure a lot of you remember that. Um, nobody knows where that guy is now. He joined the witness protection program, I'm pretty sure, after 2007 and 8. But I got his program and started working it and started buying homes and it, it was a blast. Um, I ended up buying and flipping 18 homes in 36 months. Uh, from there, I started building a real estate team, and I was able to build 15 people onto a real estate team, and we had a great thing going. We were making a lot of money, and I thought, wow, this is the way out. It's all going to work out. I ended up getting kind of the house of my dreams, four-bedroom house, two-car garage in Fishers uh, with the white picket fence, literally the white picket fence on the corner lot, um, and I thought I had it all. And then 2007 and 8 happened, and I remember waking up and mortgage companies closing, and then one of the builders that we were working with called and said, hey, we're going out of business, and those nine commissions that we owe you, they're not coming in, uh, to the tune of about $70,000. Um, at that point, my total outgo per month just to break to zero was $27,000. Um, so it was deep, to say the least. Um, unfortunately, over a period of six months, everything crashed. And I found myself sitting in front of an attorney, and the attorney said, look, we have uh, added all, all your debt up, and you owe close to $3 million with this portfolio and the real estate company and everything. Um, and there's no payment plan for <laughs> $3 million. So you have three choices. Choice number one, um, you can get on a plane and fly somewhere we can't find you. And that sounded really good at that point, but that's not what I did. Uh, choice two is you can win the lottery. And obviously, if you owe about $3 million, you might need to win the lottery more than once. And part three, or you know, choice three, was file bankruptcy and start all over again. And unfortunately, that's what I had to do. 29 years old, um, had to file bankruptcy and completely start this whole thing all over again. Um, it was ugly. It was nasty. Um, and the worst thing was, is although I cleared up and, you know, had everything you know to zero um, my credit score was awful of course I had a 400 a 400 and a 500 the day out of discharge but I actually sat down and I read the Fair Credit Reporting Act I read a couple credit repair books and I actually created a six-step system that the day out of bankruptcy I actually started implementing and over the period of the next seven months um, I was able to change everything and I pulled my credit score seven months after my bankruptcy discharged, and my scores had jumped to a 691, just over 700, and a 729, which, again, aren't the best scores in the world, but they are pretty amazing 
after a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, a car repossession, you know, 38 negative items on your credit score or credit report, um, I had to clear all that up and I was able to do it. Now, I had some knowledge that the average person doesn't have. I took some time that the average person doesn't have. And I had some connections that the average person doesn't have. But I've taught this. To, I mean, I've taught it in front of hundreds of people. I've taught it to thousands of people. I've taught it to hundreds of people who have made it work, who have been able to get back on track and buy their house and buy their car and get their credit score where it needs to be. Now, I was known as this guy who helped with this. And in December of 2017, some friends of mine brought me a company. And they said, look, this company focuses on credit repair and it would be great uh, if you could sit down and look at it with us. We'd love for you to be involved, but you know, first of all, obviously you got to make that decision. So I sat down and looked at it, and a friend of mine, Jeff Johnson, got me on the phone with his friend James, and James described to me this company called FES, Financial Education Services, and it's out of Farmington Hills, Michigan. Um, they actually started in 2004. Um, two guys who started it, one was background in finance and the other one was a programmer, and they built a system to help people get their credit back on track, um, which I thought was kind of cool. Over the first 10 years, they did it traditionally, and about four years ago, they started the outside sales part of the company. And the reason I hadn't heard of it is because the two biggest reps happen to reside in Florida and Georgia. And that's where 85% of everything that's going on in this company was going on up until the time we found out about it. Um, the service itself has a bunch, a list of services. The first service being credit repair. The second one being a credit builder program to help you get credit and then increase your limit. The third thing is credit attorneys are on staff. So that way in case of a settlement or payment plan needed, they have the attorneys to work that out. The fourth service is something called Smart Credit, which is very similar to Credit Karma. Uh, you get all three scores, all three bureaus, and instant updates. The fifth thing that they have is LifeLock. And if you don't know who LifeLock is, LifeLock is the number one marketed identity theft program in the United States, which kind of makes sense. If you're going to fix your credit, you want to keep it that way. Um, the sixth program is Debt Zero. Debt Zero is very similar to the Dave Ramsey uh, Get Out of Debt program. Um, the snowball technique, it actually has a spreadsheet list of all your debt and it talks you through what to do in what order to be able to get completely out of debt, which is obviously a good thing. Um, number seven is my care plan. My care plan helps you establish your will and your trust. Um, most people don't have those documents done, although unfortunately everybody's going to need them eventually. So it's good to you know have somebody walk you through that. Um, the eighth thing uh, that they partnership with is financial lockbox. Financial lockbox is kind of like a lockbox, um, only it's digital, and you can put all your documentation in it that you'd ever need to start over or need to, you know, basically, you know, run your life, you know, your social, uh, your social security card, your birth certificate, um, all of your financials, all of your insurance. You can actually lock away in a cyberspace in this file, passcode protected along with the beneficiary. Uh, so in case of a a fire or theft or having to start all over again, you could press a button and get all this documentation back, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, the next three things that they offer are basically saving money. Saving money in a shopping portal, saving money at a travel portal that they've set up, saving money with a prescription card program that they've set up so you can get 15 to 80% off prescriptions. And the last thing is an education portal um, called Family Mint, teaching uh, kids and adults about money and finances and what to do. So that package wrapped together of all those services is called the Protection Plan Membership. And here was the big one. I was like, okay, what is this going to cost? And he's like, it's $89 a month. I was like, okay, that's actually not too bad uh, considering what I've seen credit repair cost. Um, so it's $89 a month. There's a one-time $99 sign-up fee. So it's $188 for somebody to start the program, and then it's $89 a month thereafter. Um, to which I asked, how long does, you know, well, what's normal? And he said exactly what I've always found. It takes 40 to 45 days to see your first round of updates uh, and changes. And it takes the average person anywhere between three to six months to get to where they need to be. And then at that point, since this is a month-to-month -month program, if they decide to cancel and walk away, great. Uh, but the services are good, so some people decide to stay around. I was like, okay, that makes sense. Um, I still was skeptical. So I decided to run myself through their program because they said it was automated. Um, they said all you had to do was enter the back office, click all the buttons, upload the two documents to verify who you are, they'll send you the packet in the mail, and then you can sign it and mail it out to the three bureaus. And that's what I did. Um, I was skeptical, but I did that in December. And the end of January, I got a notice on my phone, uh, an alert, 
um, that said, you know, stuff had changed, and I opened it up, and it was from FES, and it says your credit score has increased 41 points. So in approximately 40 days, my credit score had gone up 41 points with this program. Now, the 41 points, yeah, was oppressive. I mean, I had good credit. Now I have great credit. Uh, but the difference was I didn't talk to a single human being to do this. Um, I didn't have to know anything about credit at all. All I did was open the program and start it. And it talks and walks you through the whole thing. So at that point, I wanted to know how the money worked. And here's the three kinds of people we're looking for. Obviously, outside of people who need the credit fixed. Um, the company is looking to expand. And that's what we're doing. We're helping them expand. So there's three kinds of people. Number one is somebody who sells that program. And I'll just give you an example of how the money works. Um, that 188 for a customer, if you're the person who sold it, you earn $100 of that 188 plus $12 of the monthly. And that $12 of the monthly uh, basically stays with whoever sold it until the, the person cancels. So that $12 could be ongoing um, depending on you know their situation. So if it was for a whole year, it'd be $100 up front. And then again, the, the $12, which adds up to $120 for the year. Um, I think that's right. Yeah. No, it's off. Um, I can't add. Um, you do not have to be smart. It's a little over $120 uh, for those of you who can add you know the numbers. I was thinking 10 months. Let's say they stay in at 10 months. That's 220 bucks uh, just to round it off. So um, you can sign up as many people as you want. People work with us part-time. People work with us spare time. It's totally up to them. Um, the second type of person we're looking for is somebody who does corporate accounts. Um, obviously, you need somebody smarter than me to do corporate accounts. That all goes through corporate, um, and they set it up and it, based on volume. And the third type of person we're looking for is a recruiter trainer. Uh, the recruiter trainer basically does what I do. Um, we go out and you know share the opportunity with people. I have a lead program that we use basically to screen people and bring them on board. Uh, we work with people part-time. We work with people full-time. I work with realtors and mortgage uh, people, loan officers, people who work in the auto dealership, tax people, uh, financial planners, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we have a plethora of people working with us with those backgrounds, either part-time or spare time, who are just really looking for extra money. So. Uh, we just wanted to say thank you for watching. That's what we do. That's what we're looking for. If you happen to know of the right person who needs their credit fixed or looking for an opportunity like this, uh, please pass them along. That's really all we're asking. If you have any other questions, get a hold of Robert and Susan. They'll get you the details. If they can't answer it, uh, they'll get me on the phone, and I will do whatever I can. Um, but it most likely, uh, we'll get you the answers, or I'll get you to corporate, so that way you can get the right answers. So with that, I appreciate everybody for watching. Um, and wish you the best. Have a great day.